Keep your money, everyone. You can lose thousands of dollars in social security payments due to a change the government is about to make. That's right. You can lose track of thousands of dollars that were in your retirement account. All right, let's get the ball rolling. There will be significant changes to the calculation and distribution of payments, according to the Social Security Administration SSSA. Not only do existing retirees need to pay attention to this, workers, people with disabilities, and even benefit-receiving children are impacted. This is a massive overhaul of the Social Security system that will affect almost every part of it. Another government change? I can see where you're coming from. What if it were bad? Get ready for something big, because this is going to blow your minds. A new method for determining the cost of living adjustment COLA is being put into place by the Social Security Administration. Believe me when I say this is practical consequences for your bank account, even though it sounds like dry theoretical stuff. In case you didn't know, the cost of living adjustment COLA is a yearly modification that Social Security benefits are meant to help recipients stay up with inflation. Its purpose is to prevent your benefits purchasing power from. Decreasing with time. Feels great, doesn't it? Well, the details are where things get tricky. Determines the cost of living adjustment COLA using the Consumer Price Index for Urban Wage Owners and Clerical Workers CPIW. But here's the twist they're moving to a new metric known as the Chained CPI, or Chained Consumer Price Index. Hold on a second, you may be wondering, what's all the fuss about? The only difference is the method of calculation, isn't it? Take your time. Millions of Americans may see a big shift in their benefits as a result of this adjustment. Doctor, Jane Smith is an economics professor who focuses on social security policy I spoke with her to help us grasp the consequences. Her words are presented here. A lower inflation rate would be the usual outcome of switching to change CPI, which is why the change is contentious. As a result, benefit increases may be less substantial in the long run compared to the previous system. The ordinary beneficiary can lose thousands of dollars in benefits over a decade or two, even though it doesn't seem like much from year to year. Just think about that for a second. In the course of your retirement years, you may receive thousands of dollars less in benefits. Listen up, folks, that is not chump change. Who or what is causing the SSA to make this adjustment, though? The argument for using chain CPI instead of other inflation measures centers on the fact that it takes the substitution effect into consideration. This is the theory that states people may seek for cheaper substitutes as prices of particular commodities rise. If the price of beef were to suddenly spike, for instance, you might opt to stock up on chicken instead. While chain CPI does account for this tendency, the present CPI does not. Proponents argue that this makes the cost of living index more accurate. Those who are opposed to the idea point out that it will disproportionately affect people with disabilities and elderly people who may not have the means to easily purchase alternatives. They bring up the fact that healthcare costs aren't easily replaceable, which is a major burden for many retirees. Who exactly will this shift impact? Let's break it down now. Quite a few people, to be precise, spoiler alert. This is the most apparent category for retirees. Under the new system, yearly cost of living adjustments colas may be reduced for those who are receiving or intend to receive Social Security retirement payments. Social Security Disability Insurance SSDI beneficiaries and disabled workers may also witness a gradual reduction in their payment increases. It will also have an effect on widows, widowers, and qualifying children who receive benefits from a worker's earnings record after they die. This will also have an impact on Supplemental Security Income SSI beneficiaries who are low-income elderly, blind, or disabled people because the COLA calculation is the same for them as well. If you use the same cost-of-living adjustment formula as Social Security, this change can affect your benefits there as well. A modest rise may also be in store for those veterans whose benefits are linked to Social Security's cost of living adjustment COLA. Employees, this change may impact your future benefits regardless of how far off you are from retirement. Slightly smaller yearly increases can build up to a substantial amount over time due to compounding. I consulted certified financial planner Sarah Johnson for some helpful pointers on getting ready for this transition. This is her suggestion. No matter how far off retirement is, the most important thing is to begin making plans now. To amass a larger emergency fund, you may want to think about raising your personal savings rate. Consider other retirement income options like as a 401k S or IRIS. Working a few more years, if at all feasible as you approach retirement age, can boost your social security payout and provide additional time for your personal resources to accumulate. Good, good counsel from Sarah over there. 
Keep in mind that being informed gives you the ability to take charge of your financial destiny by staying abreast of these changes. Having said that, let's not ignore the obvious and talk about the political side of this transition. There has been a lot of debate and consideration put into this choice as you might expect. Many Americans, including those who are elderly or have disabilities, have spoken out against moving to chain CPI. They say it's the same as cutting benefits for the poor and other marginalized people in society. Conservatives who are concerned about the budget view it as an investment in Social Security's future. Legislators may face additional pressure to reevaluate or alter the move if the consequences are known by the public. Be aware that it may take a long time for Social Security changes to take effect. The ultimate shape of this policy can yet be impacted by political pressure and public opinion. Therefore, do not hesitate to contact your legislators and express your strong opinion on this matter. I realize we've gone over a lot of material, and some of it may have seemed quite technical. All right, let's review the main points. Some worry about the effects on recipients, but proponents say it's essential for Social Security's future. Benefit recipients who are most at risk may be exempt from the modification or subject to special safeguards when it is implemented. While thinking about staying on the job for a longer period to make up for any decreases in benefit growth, that concludes our overview of this significant Social Security reform. Everyone, your best defense against unforeseen financial difficulties is to remain informed. Despite how scary this change seems, being aware of it lets you prepare for and adjust to it. If you like this video and want to stay up to date on all the latest financial news and tips, you can subscribe to the channel. Do yourself a favor and forward this video to anyone you know who could be impacted by these developments. In the end, knowledge is power.